Alright, here is the video review for Kingdom Deluxe Class Huffer. Uh, he showed up with Ractonite and Inferno, uh, the last couple of figures I needed from Wave 2 the other day. I guess I still need an RC. I haven't picked one up either in, uh, geez, what was the other launch? It was released in Earthrise or uh, Kingdom. I haven't picked up that RC yet. But Huffer's here, and honestly, was maybe the least, I don't know, of, of the three that came... I don't know if he was my least anticipated, but uh, actually ended up being, I think, my favorite of the wave. He's a fun little guy. Now, right off the bat, here he is in his truck mode. He does have, this This actually looks like a 3D printed piece here with, with the supports inside, but that's his rifle and a claw. So he's got a rifle and like a claw shield assembly that can come off. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I guess it's nice to have some extra accessories, but like, I don't know that Huffer needed a big gun like this. Although it is based off of something, if I can remember right. I can't remember. but uh, Or the shield. Also, um, but, but it's nice to have some extra pieces. One of the things that um, is kind of, a, when you have that attached, you can't do what, something I think is cool with Huffer, and that is he can, he is compatible with Prime's trailer. Um, but you do have to remove this to, to use it. And of course, these two halves come out. And uh, plug it together and give him a little rifle he can hold. And then a shield, which we can attach to robot mode, which we'll show off in a minute. But I, I do really like the fact that he can use uh, Prime's trailer. Now, granted, the trailer just has a standard 5mm port. And you can see he's got several places you can attach it. Either the front or back. And you can even attach it off to the side if you wanted to. But there's really no point to that. Um, this one is the one that really lets him swivel. Or either, either one of these two here. He can swivel and tow it, but right there in the middle is where I usually use it. But yeah, so he can tow the trailer that came with Leader Optimus. So that's kind of a neat little feature. And he's not a super difficult transformation in here. You just want to take his rear wheels, this whole assembly, and flip them around like that. And then these gray panels flip down and around. You can go ahead and separate the legs as well. Those kind of form the bottoms of his feet does have some ankle tilt there, like that. And then this whole assembly, untab the, uh, I'll go ahead and flip up the fists here on the smokestacks, and untab them from the cab. And then you can kind of bring the cab back like this, and then lift, unpeg these from the, uh, these gray pieces from the hip. And then this whole upper assembly with his head and everything folds out. Now I have, it's easier going in, but sometimes if you don't get this situated where these are pulled, uh, these shoulders are pulled all the way, the, you can see these gray hinges all the way down. Uh, some, uh, when you uh, go to rotate them in, they're all these little posts. Uh, these are just friction pegged into the, the thing, in, into the support in the body. And uh, sometimes if you, don't have, if you don't have these all the way down or support the wheel properly, they will... Um, pop right out as you're trying to roll them down. So just be aware of that. But you just fold these around to the back, turn his head around, and then you can bring, and again, these are the hinges I was talking about. Bring those up into the, the body itself and the arms down and rotate them to face forward. And then this whole assembly, like, again, there's a little tab back here. It just snaps back up into place like that. And then this kind of Double hinges down and clips on into place like that. Oh, well, that's that's his vehicle mode tab, because otherwise you just top that around. There we go. It, it's on a ratcheting hinge, so you let it hover over his head there. And there is Huffer in robot mode. Again, you can attach his shield. You can either hold, you can hold it in his hand, or you can attach it to his forearm. This little claw shield, and then he can hold his rifle. here but like I said his head does turn although you have to move this out of the way a little bit but oh yeah it actually looks like it is on a ball joint it does have a little bit up and down but the squareness of his head doesn't give it much movement in the up and down range but it can turn side to side he's got dual hinges at the shoulders uh, a bicep swivel single hinge elbow and no articulation in the hand really aside from just where it flips out he does have a waist swivel uh, dual hinge hip Front and back, a thigh swivel, 
uh, a single hinge knee, but it does come around to a pretty decent range of motion there. And then the aforementioned ankle tilt. But all in all, like I said, I'll probably put, at the very least, I'll put his uh, shield in the uh, in a storage bag or a bin, uh, just because it's not my favorite part of it. But uh, it's a nice looking little huffer. There's supposedly a pipe's coming, so that will be nice too. And real quick, size-wise here. Um, move him back. Make sure we get everybody in frame here. Although this may still be too short, but we'll find out, won't we? Um, where'd they go? Here we go. Here he is with the aforementioned Leader Optimus and the Studio Series Hot Rod. And Optimus, of course, is still too tall to be in the frame. There you go. But yeah, it's a, it's a nice looking Huffer. And surprisingly, one of, uh, like I said, I think it became my favorite of the three figures I got the other day. Um, the one I was expecting to be my absolute favorite, the dinosaur, uh, may actually be my third favorite. Because I think top of... I got Inf Huffer, Inferno, and Ractonite, and Huffer and Inferno are both, I both enjoy, I, I enjoy them a lot more than I thought I was going to initially, and, uh, which is good, like, but Huffer, Huffer may, uh, end up being a carry him around with me and play with him for a few days, which is just about as good as it gets around here, <laughs> but anyway, there is Kingdom Huffer, and I hope you all have a good week.